What is up hunters, today we are going to be showing you the 5 first ruins that you can get in the Dorotar area if you are playing an orc or troll hunter. These 5 ruins, most 2 of them are very easy to get and 3 of them are slightly more complicated than the rest so it will take a little bit more effort to get them. The first 2 we will find in the very beginning starting area, the 1-6 through six starting area. When you go over to the scorpion boss over here in this area, when you take him out, he will drop the Explosive Rune. The Explosive Rune is pretty good, even though it got nerfed recently. It is still very good for AoE. And once you kill him, he'll drop the Rune. And once he drops the Rune, all you have to do is learn it and inscribe it onto your hands. Second Rune will drop once you have acquired the Hunter's Quest. The Hunter's Quest in this area will allow it to drop off any mob once you have it. I think I've gotten mine from boars from this area, but I don't know if it needs to be a particular mob. But regardless, even if you don't get it, once you turn that quest in, you will get that. And that will give you Chimera Shot, which Chimera Shot is great for single target damage, especially since Explosive Shot got nerfed. It'll refresh your stings. If you have Serpent Sting up, it'll do 40% of the damage. And if you have the other stings, it'll do all kinds of other effects. Now, for the next three runes, they are slightly more complicated. They are not as easy as it just dropping off a mob while you're fighting and then being done. We're gonna be going over one of the new items that actually drops off of pigs in the area, or boars. It is called Dorotar Pygmy. This item drops, and in the description it says to bring it over to the Cat Island's dwelling. You might be wondering, well, what dwelling is that? If we come over to this area, one of the larger islands next to the little troll village, there is an area where a lot of cats spawn, and there is a spot on the top of that island that has a bunch of meat lying around. This is considered the island cat's dwelling. So when you use that Dorotar pig meat in this area, it will cause a named tiger or named cat to spawn. And once you take it out, that cat will then have the ruin flanking strike, which increases your melee damage and has a chance to reset based on certain attributes or certain uh, abilities that you use. Now this one, the fourth ruin, is a little bit more complicated and without the help of other hunters I probably wouldn't have found it on my own. This ruin is for Carve, which is a sweeping melee attack that hits all enemies. How you get this ruin is in Razor Hill and the Hunter Trainer, just outside of that little building to the left towards the entrance you will find a snake charmer. If you talk to him, he will talk about how he would trade a snake for something else that he has and if you do that you will get a ruin now how do you get a snake there are two things that you need to do one is that you do need to be level 10 before you can get this ruin because it requires you to have tame beasts and two is that you need to fight the razor quill boars in the area until they drop an item called pheromones this pheromone item allows you to tame snakes or adders or whatever else they are called if you have tame beasts. So you drink the pheromones, you go ahead and tame a snake once you have done your hunter quest to be able to have tame beast, and then you take that snake over to the snake charmer and he will then trade you the ruin for the snake. And then you will just go ahead and engrave that or learn that ability as well. Now the last one, the fifth ruin, probably one of the best runes in the game for hunters and one you will probably always have on your gear no matter what, is Master Marksman. Master Marksman you can find over here in the Quillbore area and you will know you're in the right area when you see this little stuff, these little things right here, which is like a little piece of meat on the ground and the trap above it. You may not see the bush that's supposed to appear here yet, but if you're in this area it'll eventually respawn and when you click on that bush it will say there's a stealth target inside. And so when you use Hunter's Mark on it, it will unstealth the target and a poacher will pop out. Now this isn't the only place where there's a rustling bush. I was also in the Torrent starting area when I was going to Thunder Bluff and I found one out there so you can get it from that area as well. But if you do it here and then you didn't kill the target, you will get Master Marksman, which increases your crit by 5% and reduces the cost of all your shots by 25%, which is very, very good, massive uptime, and you're not going oom all the time. So those are all the five ruins that you can get in the beginnings area for Dortar if you are playing an Orc or Troll Hunter. And I gotta say, the ruins that I've got so far are very, very good, and I know there's a lot more to be found, and I will be making more videos then when I find those ruins. However, if you guys haven't, go ahead and pet, like, and subscribe over here, 
He's been a good boy this entire time, following me around, doing good things, protecting me from mobs when I'm running around and I don't want to fight them. So if you don't, hit that like and subscribe. You'll be very disappointed. Anyways, I will see you guys next time.